Hi Big Tractor Power fans, this video comes to you from a Northeast Iowa cornfield where a Massey Ferguson 850 Combine is harvesting corn six rows at a time. In this video, we'll take a look at this machine's production history, specifications, and original price tag. But first, let's head out to the field so you can see and hear all of the harvesting action. The 850 Combine was manufactured by Massey Ferguson at its Brantford, Ontario, Canada Combine factory from 1982 through 1985. The company manufactured three different variations of the 850 Combine to match specific crops raised in North America. These combines were sold regionally. There was a small grain special, a corn and soybean special, and a rice special. The small grain 850 came with a price tag of $74,639. The corn and soybean special 850 had a price tag of $76,744. And the rice special had a much larger price at $87,518. The rice special models were equipped with heavier duty parts because rice is a very abrasive crop and it can wear out a regular combine much faster, and that's why those components cost more than a small grain or corn and soybean special model. The Massey Ferguson 850 combine that you're watching in this video is a corn and soybean special. It came with a few extra features, such as a heated and air-conditioned cab, a side hill performance kit for harvesting corn and soybeans on rolling hills like the ones found in northeast Iowa, as well as additional grates for cleaning soybeans and corn. Soybeans are a very dusty crop, and corn produces what is known as bees' wings as the corn is shelled from the cob. There's a film in between the kernels of corn, and those bees' wings can build up, and the additional grates help clean that corn off and put a good sample in the bin. 
There's a slight weight variance between the three different variations of the 850 Combine. The small grain special weighs in at 18,045 pounds. The corn and soybean special weighs in at 17,047 pounds. And the rice combine with the heavy-duty components weighs in at 18,935 pounds. Massey Ferguson offered a Perkins 6-cylinder, 5.8-liter, 350-cubic-inch turbocharged engine rated at 150 horsepower as the standard power plant on the 850 Combine. A second optional 354 cubic inch turbocharged and intercooled Perkins engine was available rated at 164 horsepower. This extra horsepower came with a price tag of $1,139. The 850 Combine came standard with a 4-speed constant mesh transmission and could be upgraded to an optional hydrostatic transmission for an extra cost of $4,776. The 850 Combine is equipped with a 90-gallon diesel fuel tank and fitted with a 180-bushel grain tank. The grain tank can unload at 1.5 bushels per second and transfer all 180 bushels of grain to a waiting truck or wagon in 120 seconds. The 850 Combine harvesting corn in this video is equipped with a Massey Ferguson 1100 series 6 row corn head. This corn head's original price tag back in the 1980s was $17,973. I hope that you've enjoyed spending some time out in this Iowa cornfield with a Massey Ferguson 850 Combine and learning about its production history specifications and original price tag. If you would like to see more videos like this one, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube where there's over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. Make sure to click on the notifications bell as well so you'll know when the next Big Tractor Power video is released. New videos are coming out almost every day from the channel. If you have any questions or thoughts about this video, please leave them in the comment section below as I try to respond to every post that is made. If you would like to get a preview of what is coming up next on Big Tractor Power YouTube, make sure to check out Big Tractor Power Instagram where I share pictures and short video clips of what is currently being filmed in the field. As always, thank you for watching.